Hi, my name is John and I'm a game designer. I've been working with Unity for about a year and a half now and today I'm going to be introducing RateSpline which is a Unity plugin. Now RateSpline allows you to create 2D vector graphics from within Unity. If you've ever been using programs like Illustrator then this should be fairly straightforward. If you haven't that's okay because RateSpline is very easy to use. Now before we can get started we need to adjust our layout. The reason for this is that we want to be able to see our scene and game view at the same time um, so that we can see uh, what our final output is going to look like. So to do that we're going to go to the upper right hand corner here and we're going to change this uh, drop down from wide to 2 by 3 and you'll see Unity changes and uh, we're going to now go ahead and just grab this hierarchy tab and drag it over on top of this uh, project tab. So now we can quickly swap between these and it gives us some uh, more room and now uh, we can see our scene and game views. Now you don't have to use this layout or workflow that I'm using. It's just that I'm doing this uh, just to make uh, the uh, make it easier uh, to present a tutorial. So next we're going to need to adjust our camera. The reason behind this is that Unity's camera by default is set to a perspective mode so that it's easier to see 3D objects within 3D space. Now because we're working with 2D and because of some of the quirks within Unity, we're going to come across some problems later on if we don't change our camera from perspective to orthographic mode. Again, this is not to say that you can't use a perspective camera with rate spline. It's just that there are a few things that you would need to work through to make it function properly. And unfortunately, that's outside of the scope of these tutorials. So let's go ahead and adjust the camera. So under our hierarchy tab, we'll just click on main camera. And over here, you'll see this projection and this drop down. So all we need to do is change our perspective to orthographic. Okay, so that's done. Now, uh, what we're going to need to do is adjust our access widget. Our access widget is located right here. So if you remember from math class, uh, we basically need to adjust the coordinates of our access widget so that Y is facing up and X is facing to the right. And to do this, all we need to do is click on these handles. So you can see when I click on these handles, it's rotating this camera view. So I've clicked on them and now Y is facing up and X is facing to the right. What we're also going to want to do is right click on this and we're going to want to make sure that back has a check mark next to it and that perspective does not have a check mark next to it. Now what we're going to want to do is um, pretty much import a rate spline if you don't already have it imported. Um, all you, as you can see here, I, I don't have it imported. I have it as a package. If you've already purchased rate spline, it would show up here. So all we need to do is um, go ahead and I'll quickly run you through what you would need to do to uh, purchase and import it. I would just go up here to Window, Asset Store. Let's give it a sec to connect. Okay, then you would find Rate Spline. You could search for it up here. We just happen to be here already, so we'll just click on it. Now it would show if you've already have it purchased here. If not, you could just click on it here and it walk you through the steps of making the purchase. After you've made the purchase, it would show up in this um, area up here. So uh, this uh, second button from the right, you would just click on that and it would show up in this list. So once it's in this list, all you'd have to do is click on import. And when you click on import, it will take you to this screen. Now I already have the rate spline package, so I'm not gonna go through purchasing it. Um, all I need to do is uh, go to import package, custom package. And I will have it on my desktop here. Just click open. 
Now, um, again, basically, once you click on import under that other screen uh, that we saw at the asset store, it would take you to this screen. And you'll see all of these things. Don't be intimidated by them. It's okay. All you need to worry about is that everything is checked off. So if it isn't checked off, all you'd have to do is just click this none, and then you'd click import. Then you'll see it running through a few things. Just give it a sec. Taking a little bit of time. That's okay. And uh, after this is done and it's imported, it's going to show up in our projects tab over here. So now you'll see. And uh, if you click on this little arrow and open it, it will expand and there'll be a number of folders under here. So in the next video and following videos, we're going to go over some of these uh, folders and what we can do with them. Okay, see you then.